Observers say multi-party democracy is under threat in the country after main opposition parties failed to field candidates for the April 6 by-elections. The Zimbabwe Electoral Commission ZEC announced council by-elections for Kuzel Rural District Council RDC and Redcliffe Municipality where ZANU-PF will battle it out with independent candidates. The country's main opposition party's Citizens Coalition for Change and the Movement for Democratic Change MDC did not field candidates for the vacant council seats. The by-elections were triggered by the recall of CCC councillors. Members of Parliament MPs and Senators by self-proclaimed Party Interim Secretary General Senjizo Chibangu. Chibangu wrested the CCC from former party leader Nelson Chamisa. Chibangu, who resorted to the courts to bar the other CCC faction from contesting in the by-elections, said he was in the dark as to why his camp failed to field candidates. I honestly do not know why the party did not field candidates. You can talk to the acting president Welshman Cube. Shibanga told Newsday. Cube's phone number was not reachable and his acting spokesperson Jacob Mafium did not respond to questions sent to him. Shibanga's CCC faction recently announced that Cube, Tenai Biti and Karini Ikore will be acting presidents on a 90-day rotational basis. Another CCC faction is linked to Chamisa and is led by Jameson Timba. The faction spokesperson, Promise Mponanzi, said the party wanted to field candidates but was barred by the courts. Our recalled candidates were barred illegally, Kwananzi said. MBC spokesperson Lloyd Dambas said the party would not participate in polls to sanitize Sanu PF's fraudulent electoral manipulation. We told everybody that we will not assist Sanu PF to get a two-thirds majority, Dambas said. The MBC was never formed to participate in fraudulent election and legitimize Sanu PF rule and sanitize a flawed electoral process. The MBC demands electoral reforms presided over by a truly independent electoral commission. As for now, let Sanu PF have its way. Political analysts, however, underscored the significance of opposition participation in maintaining the integrity of Zimbabwe's democratic processes. They said the absence of opposition candidates diminished the prospects of competitive elections. The opposition provides checks and balances on the executive, the judiciary, and the public administration while closely examining decisions, policies and actions made by the government, said political analyst Lazarus Saudi. Given this, Zimbabwe's democracy is in danger due to the opposition's failure to field candidates in the upcoming by-elections. The failure signifies the death of alternative narratives in our country. Political science lecturer Pardon Todzura said the opposition's absence from the electoral arena had negative implications for Zimbabwe's democratic processes. The absence of a viable opposition weakens the democratic fabric of the country, Todzura said. It limits accountability and reduces the checks and balances necessary for a healthy democracy. Similarly, political commentator Romeo Cha Serra highlighted the importance of a robust opposition in safeguarding democratic principles. A strong opposition is essential for ensuring that the ruling party remains accountable and that the interests of the citizens are represented adequately. Without it, there's a risk of unchecked power and potential authoritarian tendencies, noted Cha Serra. Zanu PF now has a two-thirds majority in the Assembly Assembly after grabbing some seats in by-elections triggered by the recall of CCC members. Critics now fear that Zanu PF will abuse its two-thirds majority to railroad unpopular laws to cement its hold on power. Already, some Zanu PF diehards are pushing for President Emerson Umingagwa's third-term bid. However, a referendum will need to be held to amend the Constitution to allow for a third term. Oh